No, the the title and thumbnail are not clickbait. We're finally getting ourselves our evil eye. Uh, and now we put that back. And now we will be able to go absolutely crazy with it by going through. We have all of these eyes now. Took way too long to get them. But now we'll be able to actually head to the end. So we head over here to this beautifully lit cavern. And we need to click in all of these eyes. It's a different one. Yeah, it's a completely different one. Thank God. Uh, and then the last one. Uh, what? Do I need to do something specific? So apparently this isn't the right place to uh, use these. So we just wasted all of these eyes. Give me, give me one second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get them all back, and then we're going to, we're gonna just, uh, yeah, oh my god, dear god, why? Just, oh my god. Jesus. Okay, so I did everything that I'm supposed to, and I ended up following down to here. Uh, I got another extra eye just in case, but if this doesn't work, I, I don't, I genuinely don't know what will, because... Like... Well, that worked. Yippee, yippee, that was dope. Um... Okay, I'm gonna need to, uh... Turn off particles, because holy... Uh, minimal... Why? So I need a good thumbnail of this, because holy, that looks dope. Okay, perfect. Now we get a good thumbnail. Now we can go back out and turn back particles on to uh, decreased. And now we're going to go kill the Ender Dragon, because why the hell not? But uh, that was like the most stressful thing, because apparently we could have just done that at, at, at that first spot. But I had no idea. So I spent like a good solid half an hour getting all the stuff we needed. All the everything. What even is... What is this? Fallen stars from End Phantasm. That's cool. In here? How do, how do I use it? Oh, shoot. We're in cheat mode. Because I was... Uh, I was getting those eyes back. Because, Jesus. I... I was so confused that I spent so much time... You know, it's... It, it's fine. It's worth it. Um... What is this? Oh. Holy, okay. Wait, so this is the new... This is the new thing? So I can break them. Sniped! Sniped! I forget my arrows go straight. Wait, it, it, that's all it took to kill it? <laughs> okay. I mean, it's dope. Like, that's sick. I just don't. I, I was. I don't know. Uh, what do we use Fallen Stars for? Uh, Stellium and stuff like that. Okay, cool. Yep. I think I already looked into that, but oh well. Uh, and then... Dragon. We get the XP. We get the stuff. We get the egg. Uh... I should've... Uh, I should have mined it instantly, shouldn't I have? Anyway, we completed the game. Cool. Um. Uh, that's dope. Uh, now, now what? We do, we do the quests now? Now that we can get the, uh... Shoot, we need Dragon's Breath. I need the rogue... <sighs> that's the Jungle Pyramid Eye. Okay, cool. 
We've already we've already done that. We've only already done that too. I have the void ruined crystal. Uh, I the void loose. Okay, the ruined citadel with powerful elder guardian. Ender guardian resides. So, I the void. We need that. Cool. Uh, what else? What else do we need? Uh, Ender guardian, and then endstone golem. We also need the flame king. I have the flame. And then craft the Ignium set, which is the full set of Netherite to Ignium. Cataclysmic Gate Pearl. What the devil? Tainted Talisman uses it from a Talisman or Challenge, which is made by Radiant Root. Huh? And that only gives... That only gives us two Ignium. And we need a Radiant Sun Shard and a Cataclysmic Gate Pearl for that. Okay, I mean, cool, I guess. Uh, we might as well buy some points, because we, we've got the XP for that. So we can max out everything, finally. Completing the skill tree at the end of the game. Perfect, completed skill tree. We no longer need anything, realistically. Um, now, all that we really need to do is upgrade this to the Awakened Equilibrium from using Slumbering Equilibrium, which is what this sword is right now. So it's Slumbering Equilibrium, we use a Radiant Ruby to upgrade it. I'm going to do that, but then I'm going to need to re-add all of the gems to it, so uh, I'll, I'll do that next episode. Uh, and then Absolute Equilibrium, I need Nightfall as well, which means that I need, uh, two. Hmm. Wait, it's not worth it unless we create Nightfall. So Nightfall, cool. So we need a Netherite and a Dark Core. A Dark Core is an unattuned core with all this essence stuff. Okay, well, we'll get all that. Or I can buy one. Wait, I have Dark Cores, don't I, from... Yeah, I do, okay. So we can get we can get all of that. Uh, we just need some more... Uh, what, how, how, and... And crystals, default recipe, yes, perfect. So we just need gas tears. Let's go to the nether, the nether, the nether, the nether, and get ourselves some gas tears, because we need gas tears. Because I forget we need dragon's breath, so. Best place to get that stuff is Soul Sand Valley. Because ghasts spawn most regularly in the Soul Sand Valley, if I'm not mistaken. Now we just gotta wait for a ghast to spawn. Oh, ghast! Oh, ghast! I lost soul. Just rocket a lost soul away. See, the thing is, lost souls don't take damage. So, I'm not really hurting it. Oh cool, there's another tower in here. Ryosaru. Ryosaru. Dude, I need gas tears. Gasts, just spawn, please. Pretty please? I know usually people are like, oh no, ghasts spawned. But like, I want them to spawn. If I just chill for a second, will ghasts spawn? I don't know, I'll, I'll just chill for like five minutes or so. You know, while we're chilling, let me have take you guys a, a good look at our stats. So we have 0% ac accuracy, which is fine. Uh, then we've got armor. 
which is is nice. It's 100 and basically 200. Armor pierce of 30. Armor toughness of 61.95. Our arrow damage is 120, 122%. Arrow velocity is 200%. Our attack damage is 243. Our attack range is 4.75. Our attack speed. I feel like this is a little bit lower, but we have an 81 blocking. Which I think is 81% chance to block. Our draw speed is 300%. Experience gained is basically 200%. Our 6 experience per minute. Kind of nuts. Uh, fire damage. Fire spell power. Our lightning spell power is 3.8. Uh, in comparison to 2.5. Uh, luck is 37. Our max health is... Oh my gosh! And our max mana is kind of nuts too. Wait. Max mana, max mana. What? Okay. Overheal is 107% protection peer. Speed. Swim speed. Yeah, it's kind of dope. Um, Still no ghasts, though, which is... Really annoying. What's up, dude? How, how you doing? Hello, Mornstone. I mean, Mornstone is cool, but, like, I don't need chiseled grindstone. Also, like, dragon skin and stuff? Eh. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Uh, Respecting my skill points. Oh no. Anyway, we'll just put you there. Uh, D eerie. Oh, we could have gotten another eye from that too. What's up, dude? Okay, guests do not seem to want to spawn, so I'm gonna have to just farm them off, off camera. That's a bummer, but what other quests can we kind of do here? Uh, Gilded Eagle stuff. Oh, you got the Bright Steel stuff. Runic Tablet from Simply Swords or Kill Mitrus. How do we find Mitrus? Terrorizing villager villages. So I'm assuming they're by villages. So. Base. If I wait till nighttime and I go to a village, are we going to see Mitrus? I don't know, but where is the closest village? There is one. I know there's one not that far away, I just don't know where. Am I blind? That's not a village, is it? I don't think it qualifies. That, that qualifies as a village. Yeah, this is a village. So if we wait till night... Then Matrus. Also, there's a kitty over here. Hey, kitty cat. Sorry for scaring you. Ruin town map. Cool. I don't need ruin town maps. Anyway. If Matrus start attacking, I'm just gonna slay them. But I, I don't. I don't know. The sun's going down, so shouldn't have to wait for very long, but I don't know. I'm, I'm curious as to kind of what the what the old shtick is over here. Go on the felt. I don't have cooked salmon or a cookie, I'm sorry. Nor do I really think it's worth it. I have the storm, a guster, and a tarantula hawk. Ooh. You know, infinity would be nice, but like, this isn't bad. Also, the reason why we're taking damage every time I switch to my sword and everything is, uh, because I get, I get different uh, amounts of stuff, because this is a two-handed sword. And I don't get the bonuses of my shield when I have my sword out. But I also don't get the bonuses of my sword when I have my shield out. So it's like a trade-off, but... I also can't dodge in midair, which is kind of annoying, because we can dodge pretty dope. Like, dodge roll. 
Then dodge roll. Dodge roll. Yep. We already move like way too fast, so. Hello, Rain Frog. You're cool, dude. Actually, what are, what are some other challenges that we can look at while we do this? Cisco's fate. Radiant Ruby, Awakened Equilibrium. Refined Equilibrium. So, all you do is take you know, Refined... And I guess the only difference is the, uh, the attack speed. Because it's 1.3 for the for that versus 1.6. And one more damage, uh, but less range. So it's, it's interesting. But uh, absolute equilibrium is highest. Um, what's the highest damage of all things in this mod pack, though? If I do, uh, damage. It's not going to be something from these. And if it's not that, it's going to be some specialty thing, like... Arbinger, 18... Shadow Sting. Lich Blade is kind of nuts. Uh, Awaken Lich Blade, at least. Mjolnir. Arcanthist. Is there anything higher than a 20? Warglaive. 19, 19. Okay. Because I know that within the Cisco stuff, like, it's it's kind of crazy, but... Just curious. Yeah, it looks like the Cisco stuff is just superior. Pollux, uh... Azure Thunder... Nightfall's quite dope, though. But it's Refined Equilibrium. And Awakened Equilibrium is Slumbering Equilibrium plus a Radiant Ruby. Then you turn that into... Then you combine that with uh, Nightfall to get your Absolute Equilibrium. And Absolute Equilibrium is the nuttiest of nuts. And that's what we'll enchant with everything, everything. But Ascendant Violet versus Ascendant Rogue... It's just a bonus difference, I guess, because it's the same, same stats. Just less, uh, less sockets for some of them. But yeah, we need to kill a bunch of stuff for that, which I know of. Also, it's looking like it's not... Oh, the sun's finally going down, so it's been daytime, I guess. I don't know, I don't even know why I'm here. But, um... Red Knight Awakens. Okay. We need to kill the Warden, Void Worm. We need to kill so many things. Ancient Remnant. Pyramid Structure in the Desert. Cool. Divine Equipment. Azure Thunder. Skyspitter Pollux Glaciers. I have to make these, which is going to cost a bunch of stuff as well. We'll make it later game. Uh, Traveler's Journey, Nature's Compass, we gotta make that eventually. Uh, oh, Explorer's, there's Explorer's Compass. Why am I using the Structure's Compass? Forgot that was in there. Um, Iron and Gold, oh, shoot. I shouldn't have crafted all the way up to Obsidian quicker. But, uh, we need to do that. Finish Durham. What do I need for Ascendant Difficulty? Bell King, Cisco's Fate. Which is... Uh, 
Cisco's fate. Cisco's trial. Duels and demigods. Um. Advancement, duels, and demigods. What does that one take? Um. Advancements. Cisco's. Duel. Defeat Cisco in battle. Obtain the talisman of challenge. So I need a talisman of challenge to fight Cisco. Which will cost me how much in the shop? Seven. So we can do that now. After this. We just need to see if Mitru's will spawn. So if not, we're going to have to get, get jiggy with it and figure a way out. But... Does not seem to be like the meters of meeting. I am fairly like certain things would have spawned by now. Are meters going to spawn? What is an meter? I'm looking for meters. They're little goobers that, that are on the ground. I just can't find them. Where the meters at? Where are they at, bro? I just want to, I just want to get the meters. I need the meters, brother. I need them, they're meters. But, oh, well, it seems like we're not getting the meters. So, uh, let's do this. Champion coins. Talisman of challenge. Let's take it a little bit farther away. Shouldn't be too difficult with what we have right now because of the duplication glitches, but how do I use a talisman of challenge? Uh That's that, but we'll we'll look at that later later. Um, how do I use the? Yeah, an editing mode for me is disabled. A uh, talisman of challenge. How do I utilize it? Do I click it on the ground? That was quick. Um. He gave us his boots, some coins. Uh. Did he give us champion coins too? Wait, two champion coins for the Talisman of Challenge. Which costs a bunch of Radiant Rubies. So. I should do more of that. I think. Because that wasn't that tough. But we got it done as well. So Cisco's fate's done. So we need the Fell King. Uh, Podium of Purgatory. We need the Nocturnal Amethysts and the Dark Steel Slab. Which is Dark Steel. Okay. We get 20 for that. We get 15 for that. I mean, I don't really need all these stuff. But, you know, whatever. Um, I'll collect them and we can just fight a couple more Ciscos, I guess. We'll just do that then. Uh, so wait, Tainted Talisman. I can buy one for 14, which is dope. And I'll buy two more of Cisco's Talisman for that. So then we, what we'll do is we'll do this. And then now I can defeat the Fel King, right? 
but I need the pedestal too. So I need to go back home. I need to go to the pedestal, or get the pedestal, which is dark steel uh, and the amethyst. We just need amethyst for that. So I'll just go down and get a geode, but uh, we have the blaze for it, right? Somewhere. I, I know I have it somewhere. Is it in here? I've done a look to be, but oh well. But we have it. It's it's somewhere in here. Is it in our current back 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 back? No. Okay. Uh. Okay. Well, we can we can get it. I know we have it somewhere, so it's just about finding it. Or we can go get some, I guess. There's also some champions coins in here, which is not bad. What's up, dude? That explosion's a little bit annoying. Oh, we got Cisco's leggings as well, which is cool. And some Eater RPG coins. Eater RPG? I don't know. I don't know how it's pronounced. Anyway, let's go get some uh, some Blaze stuff. And then we'll go and we'll get some... Uh, some Amethyst Particulate. And then next episode we'll start with Killing the Fell King. And that'll be kind of that episode in its entirety. So... Teleport here... Yeah, I know that went somewhere. It's going into here. There, blazes. Perfect. There we go. Blaze rods. Ten out of... We need four of these. So I need double that. Dope. I just need five rods from you, too. Eight rod. You know what? Thank you. Thank you for going above and beyond. And then we'll go overworld and portal, even though it'll take us to the wrong one that I destroyed absolutely because I was curious as to why it wasn't working. Uh, teleport. We need, like, actual amethyst crystals, though, so this one is not going to cut it, unfortunately. Uh, how do we get amethyst crystals? Amethyst shards. Oh, cutting board. So we need a cutting board. So we just go back to base. Grab ourselves some wood and some stickies. Perfect. And then we wood... Stick, cutting board. Cutting board can go right here. Yes. And now we do this. We do that. We get amethyst. Four amethyst per. So we need one, two, three, four. Perfect. Sixteen, because that's how many amethysts we needed total. Now we get ourselves our nocturnal amethysts. And now we need dark steel slabs. So we need uh, four blocks of dark steel. So we need a total of, what's that, 36? 36 netherite ingots. Nothing too crazy. So we just do this. Forty-eight now, and then in coupling with that, we need thirty-six of you. So now we apply them all. Put those back where they go. And now assemble all of them into blocks. Three of them go like that. That goes like that. That goes like that. And GG's peace. Have a great day. I'll see you next time tomorrow when we defeat the Fell King and then figure out what we're going to do from there. So, 
GG's. Peace. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.